you're sitting, estás sentado y yo estoy sentado también. You're sitting and I'm sitting too. Alternativa, you're sitting and I'm sitting as well. Obama is a politician. Yes, Barack Obama is a politician. And David Cameron is a politician as well. Uh, Canada is a big country. And uh, China is a big country as well. Uh, Spain is an important country, yes. And Germany is an important country as well. French is a beautiful language. And Italian is a beautiful language as well. I guess fácil in English, I can see. All right. Uh, in French is an important language. And English is an important language as well. Uh, Mexico is a Spanish-speaking country. And Colombia is a Spanish-speaking country as well. Hola, bienvenidos a la clase número 24 del nivel básico. Hoy vamos a ver una frase, una afirmación. He's a doctor and she's a doctor as well. Ok, eso significa él es médico y ella es médico también, también. También hemos visto antes, pero esta vez vamos a ver otra manera de decirlo. So, he's a doctor. He's a doctor, una profesión. Ya hemos visto, he's a singer, a singer, y hemos visto que no, en, en español dice es cantante o es médico. En inglés hay que añadir el artículo indefinido a, yeah? He's a doctor. He's a doctor. He's a musician. Es músico. He's a musician. He's a teacher. And <laughs> recuerda, he's, not he's. He is contraído. He's a musician. He's a doctor. He's a writer, un escritor. He's a teacher. He's a singer. He's a lawyer. He's a doctor. Not doctor, sino doctor. He's a doctor. Okay, muy bien. Pero qué tenemos aquí? A ver, que me voy a cotear un poquito. A ver, un email del jefe. A ver lo que pone. Tenéis que hablar con Mohamed Orfali. Él es médico. He's doctor. Uf, what a mess. He's doctor. No, eso no se dice. Se dice, he's a doctor. He's a doctor. He's a doctor. Y fíjate en la pronunciación. No doctor, doctor. He's a doctor. Él es médico. He's a doctor. Pues se lo voy a limpiar para que esté bien. Eh, que esto no se limpia. Pues tendré que corregirlo. A ver, con un boli. With a pen. He's a... Pero esto no pinta bien. He's a doctor. A ver, mejor con un rotulador permanente. A permanent marker. He's a doctor. Muy bien, queda perfecto. He's a doctor. He's a doctor. Ok, seguimos con la frase He's a doctor and she's a doctor as well. Ok, él es médico y ella es médico también. Fíjate en la pronunciación de she is. Ya lo hemos visto, pero tenemos que, que, que repasarlo. She es con un sonido de mandarse a caer a alguien, a callar a alguien. She's, she's. Pero la S de is, sin embargo, es silbado. So, she's, she's a doctor. She's a doctor. Hay dos sonidos de S muy distintos y hay que distinguir entre ellos, ¿vale? She's, she's a doctor. No decimos she's doctor, sino she's a doctor, con, con, con el, um, con el um, A, A, ¿ya? Yeah? Por ejemplo, she's an artist, an artist, an, porque artist empieza con un sonido vocálico. She's an actress, she's an actress, she's 
a doctor, ¿ya? Y nuestra palabra del día es waiter, camarero, waiter. So he's a waiter. Muy bien. Yo, 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 aquí estoy en directo para ti, live for you. Chicos, mis seguidores me han enviado correo. A ver. Ah, ella es doctora y mi seguidora. She's a doctor. She's a doctor. A ver, decimos doctor. A doctor, ¿ok? Y no doctor. A doctor. Ella es mi seguidora y es doctora. And she's a doctor. ¿Y esto? Él es doctor. He's a doctor too. Pero todos mis seguidores son doctores. Igual. Tengo dos seguidores y son doctores. Riman como una canción. She's a doctor and he's a doctor too. Vamos. He's a doctor and she's a doctor too. He's a doctor and she's a doctor too. Ok, vamos a terminar esta frase con as well, que significa también. Ya hemos visto la palabra to, que también significa también. Entonces, as well, as well. La S de as es como una mosca. Z, as well, as well. So, to or as well son sinónimos, vale. He's a doctor and she's a doctor as well, as well. He's an actor and she's an actor as well, an actor, an actor, as well. He's a musician and she's a musician as well. Yeah, as well. He's a lawyer, abogado, and she's a lawyer as well. Y nuestra palabra del día, he's a waiter and she's a waiter as well. Aunque decimos waitress en realidad. He's a waiter, camarero, nuestra palabra del día. So, he's a doctor and she's a doctor as well. Y recordad este sonido de she's, she's, no, no, dice, no dices she sees or she's, she's a doctor as well, as well. He's a doctor and she's a doctor as well. Muy bien. Hello, it's Mr. Strong. Y bienvenidos al gimnasio del inglés. Vamos a ver lo que hay aquí por el gimnasio. This is an egg. That is an egg as well. This is an egg. That's an egg as well. As well as otra forma de decir too. También. This is an egg. That's an egg as well. Cuidado con la pronunciación. No decimos as well, as well, gua. No, no, es gua. Con la respiración. As well. Well. Lo mismo que dice pozo en inglés. O bien, I feel well. Well. So, this is an egg. That's an egg as well. This is a phone. That's a phone as well. This is a phone. That's a phone as well. These are pencils. Those are pencils as well. As well. Those are pencils as well. Hello. These two items. A statuette and a microphone. Uh, os lo vendo. I'm sorry, I'll sell them to you. Eh? I'm sorry, excuse me? Is there a discount on these items? <laughs> no, there isn't, I'm sorry. There's no discount. Full price. They're full price. 100 euros, 130 euros. Full price. If you're interested, buy them. If you're not, I'll find another buyer. Yeah. The Don Quixote statue. The Don Quixote. And the magic wand. Mi varita mágica. Yes. Are you interested in buying these? Magic wand and a Don Quixote book holder. Are you interested? Um, excuse me? Uh, is there a discount on these two items? Uh, no, I'm sorry, there isn't a discount. Uh, full price. I'm sorry. 5,000 euros, 25 euros. I recommend this, okay? 
Hello, and welcome to another class. Let's begin with our sentence. Is there a discount on those items? No, there isn't. They're full price. ¿Hay descuento en esas cosas? No, no hay. Son de precio normal. La primera parte es, is there a discount on those items? Hay descuento. So tenemos, is there. Hay, cambiamos sitios con el verbo primero, is, y después there. Is there a discount on, un descuento, right? A discount on, ponemos la preposición on. So is there a discount on those items, esas cosas? For example, is there a discount on this dress? ¿Hay descuento en este vestido? Is there a discount on this computer? Is there a discount on this car? No, there isn't a discount on this car. Is there a discount on these shoes? Is there a discount on that coat? En ese abrigo. So repeat, is there a discount on? Is there a discount on? No te olvides la preposición muy importante aquí. Is there a discount on this computer? Okay, keep practicing. We'll see you in a few minutes. Oh, it's the end of the month. I know. Busqueré artículos con descuento. I look for items with a discount. Oh my God, look at that bag. Sarah, does that bag have a discount? No? Oh. Oh, look at those shoes. They're perfect. Sarah, do those shoes have a discount? No? Help me, can you ask Sarah, do those shoes have a discount? Oh, perfect. One more time. Yes? Oh, thank you. I'll take 20. <laughs> oh, nice sportswear. But I don't like running. Well, maybe I could try. Does it have a discount, Sarah? Yes? Oh, perfect. I'll take 20. <laughs> oh, nice purses. And do they have a discount, Sarah? Yes? Well, I'll take all of them. I'll take all of them tomorrow. <gasps> okay, welcome back. Let's take a look at the second part. Is there a discount on those items? No, there isn't. They're full price. ¿Hay descuento en esas cosas? No, no hay. Son de precio normal. Aquí la segunda parte es, no, there, isn't. Es la respuesta corta para la pregunta, ¿no? Is there a discount on those items? No, no hay. No, there isn't. More examples. Is there a problem? No, there isn't. Is there a meeting? No, there isn't. Is there a mistake with the schedule? Hay un error con el horario. Ah, schedule. Muy bien, la palabra del día. Notice la pronunciación, the pronunciation. Yo digo schedule, que es la forma americana. Y la forma inglesa es schedule. Schedule, ¿ok? Puedes elegir schedule or schedule. Da igual. Is there a discount on this dress? No, there isn't. Is there a discount on this computer? No, there isn't. Is there a problem? No, there isn't. So keep practicing. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Pasen y vean. Pregúntenme lo que quieran. You, yes, you. Is there a swimming pool in my garden? Hmm. No. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. There isn't. You. Is there a clock in my kitchen? Okay. No, no, there isn't. No, there isn't. Ah, you. Is there a red car in front of my house? Wait. Aha, no lo sabes. Pues no hay. No, it isn't. What? What the hell? No es no, it isn't. Es no, no, there isn't. Tú en casa, dilo conmigo. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Good. Another question? You. Is there a discount on those items? Mm. No. No, I'm sorry. No, there isn't. Look, there isn't. 
All right, let's finish today's class with the last part, la última parte. Is there a discount on those items? No, there isn't. They're full price. ¿Hay descuento en esas cosas? No, no hay. Son de precio normal. So, la última parte es they're full price. Son de precio normal. They're full price. Más ejemplos. This book is full price. Este libro está de precio normal. Is that dress full price? ¿Es ese vestido de precio normal? Are these earrings on sale? No, they're full price. ¿Esos pendientes están rebajados o están de rebajas? No, son de precio normal. My mother never pays full price. Right? Mi, a mi madre, mi madre nunca paga a, a precio normal. Siempre busca precios rebajados, ¿no? So she never pays full price price. Uh, these shoes aren't 50% off. They're full price. Estos zapatos no están a uh, 50%. Son de precio normal. So todo junto es, is there a discount on those items? No, there isn't. They're full price. See you next time. Hello. Mira lo que he encontrado. Un recibo. A receipt. Let's see. Tissues. Five euros. Five euros for tissues, they're full price. They're full price. In my shop, they're half price. In this shop, they're full price. But in my shop, they're half price. What else? Tin openers, three euros and 30 cents. That's crazy, that's so expensive. They're full price. In my shop, they're half price. Alarmas de incendio? Fire alarms, 42 euros? That's nuts. That's full price. They're full price. In my shop, they're half price. Prótesis dental, false teeth, 35 euros? They're full price. Listen, everyone, come to my shop where tissues, tin openers, fire alarms are half price. Come on. <laughs> Would you mind, te importaría, mas gerundio, would you mind going, would you mind coming, would you mind throwing away, te importaría tirar la, la fruta, está podrida, would you mind throwing away the fruit, it's gone bad, it has gone bad, or it's spoiled, it's rotten, uh, Carmen, excuse me, um, the table is dirty, would you mind cleaning the table? Would you mind dusting guitar? I can't believe it. Carmen, would you mind cleaning the table a little? Jaume, me falta un poco de... Me falta maquillaje. Would you mind adding some... Es que esta gente no... Donde hay confianza de asco, que sí. Well, Jaume, would you mind adding some more makeup? Okay, I need a little more. Would you mind adding? Would you mind cleaning? Would you mind learning English de una vez? ¿Te importaría tirar la fruta a la basura? Se está poniendo mala. ¿Cómo dirías eso en inglés? Pues lo diríamos de la siguiente forma. Would you mind throwing out the fruit? It's going off. Vamos por partes. Como siempre, empezando con la primera sección de esa frase. Would you mind? Que significa, ¿te importaría? Y es una estructura que siempre viene seguida de un verbo expresado en el gerundio. O sea, un verbo acabado en ing. Would you mind throwing out the fruit? Would you mind doing that? Would you mind helping me? Would you mind giving me a hand? Would you mind telling him for me? Would you mind... Ahora vamos a verlo negativo. Would you mind not doing that? Would you mind not making so much noise? O sea que aunque la segunda, el segundo verbo se expresa en negativo, se sigue mm, formando con la, la forma del gerundio. Solo que eh, colocamos la palabra not antes. Would you mind doing that? Would you mind not doing that? ¿Te importaría hacer eso? ¿O te importaría, te importaría a ver si me sale, no hacer eso? ¿De acuerdo? Simple. So, would you mind doing that again? 
Ole! It's another great day in Spain, and I love Spanish festivals. That's right. In fact, I'm going this weekend to Buñol for La Tomatina, to throw tomatoes at everybody and everything. But I only have one bag of tomatoes. I need to get some more. I'm gonna call the reception, see if they have any more tomatoes. Yes, hello? I'm calling from room 607. Would you mind bringing me a bag of tomatoes? Would you mind bringing me a bag of tomatoes from the kitchen? Un momento. Of course, we have to say, would you mind? Would you mind? Te importaría. I'm sorry, yes, to tomatoes, yeah. You don't have any? Would you mind going to the shop and getting me some tomatoes? I'll pay you five euros. Would you mind? Would you mind helping me with this? Well, would you mind walking to the supermarket and getting the tomatoes? Oh, thank you. I've got my tomatoes. Bien, en la última clase vimos la expresión de, de, nuestra para decir tirar la basura, que era to take the rubbish out. Ahora, cuando tiramos algo a la basura, empleamos otro verbo compuesto, que es to throw something out, or to throw out something. Da igual si, si decimos uh, throw out something o throw something out. L donde sí es importante, cuando empleamos un pronombre para refer referirnos a ese something, ese algo, pues entonces ese pronombre sí hay que colocarlo entre el verbo throw y la partícula out, ¿ok? Throw it out, throw them out, tirarlo, tirarlos, throw them out. Bien. Would you mind throwing out the fruit? ¿Te importaría tirar a la basura la fruta? ¿Okay? Ojo con la pronunciación de la palabra fruit. Fruit no se pronuncia así. Se escribe en fruit, pero decimos fruit con una sola sílaba y con una T bastante fuerte al final. ¿Okay? Would you mind throwing out the fruit? ¿Te importaría tirar la fruta a la basura? También podrías tirar otra cosa, como por ejemplo nuestra palabra del día, que es the vegetables. Se escribe vegetables, pero nosotros lo decimos en tres sílabas. Vegetables, vegetables. Would you mind throwing out the vegetables? The vegetables, the vegetables. Decirlo todos. Oh, Harriet says I have to throw out all the fruit. Throw out this fruit? But there's nothing wrong with it. We shouldn't throw out fruit that's perfectly fresh. But just because the guests don't eat it, Harriet says I have to throw it out. Oh, did you see? I said throw out the fruit, but I can also say throw the fruit out. Say it with me. Throw out the fruit or throw the fruit out. That's right. And it's not just me. George has to throw out the chocolates that the guests don't eat, even though I don't think he throws them out, you know? Margaret, would you mind throwing out the fruit? And hurry, please. <sighs> okay, Harriet, I'll throw them out, whatever you say. Vegetables, vegetables. Oh, me pilláis aquí pues, practicando la pronunciación de nuestra palabra para verduras. ¿eh? Y espero que vosotros también en casa lleváis tiempo haciéndolo. Vegetables, vegetables. Con una V así vibrada. Vegetables, vegetables. Decidlo conmigo. Vegetables. Bien, nuestra palabra del día. Verduras, que no se pronuncia vegetables. En cuatro sílabas, eran cinco, bueno, cuatro sino tres. Vegetables. Bien. Ahora, la tercera parte de nuestra frase de hoy. Eh, would you mind throwing out the fruit? It's going off. Se está poniendo mala la fruta. It's going off. To go off, otro verbo compuesto, significa, pues, cuando um, algo, algún tipo de comida se está poniendo mal, ¿ok? O se está echando a, a perder, ¿ok? Your fruit can go off, um, vegetables can go off, let's think of different types of fruit. Um, oranges can go off, um, milk can go off, aubergines can go off, berenjenas, una palabra muy importante, aubergines, que eh, mi compañero Richard diría, el otro Richard, claro, diría eggplant, o courgettes, 
que son uh, zucchini para él y para nosotros eh, calabacines, creo. Bien. Would you mind throwing out the fruit? ¿Te importaría tirar la fruta? It's going off. Se está poniendo mala, como yo. I'm looking at the complaints today. It's really stressful. Let's see what we have today. The milk was going off at the buffet? Impossible. In this hotel, the milk was going off? No. I don't believe it. No. Let's see, what else? The bread was going off at the buffet? No, it's impossible. Mike told me that the bread was fresh. Now, this person says that the milk and the bread were going off. It can't be. Mike said that the bread and the milk were fresh. The bread and the milk are going off? Impossible. Let's see what else we have. The vegetables are going off? No. Well, okay, I guess that's okay. I guess that's okay because with the new budget, well, we can get new vegetables. It'll all be fine. What else? The fruit is going off? No, impossible. Mike, the fruit is going off. So would you mind getting new fruit? The fruit is going off.